Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Fiddlesticks. Now, I have fucked up. Um, I didn't have enough bricks, and so my market's in disrepair. So I have two choices. Destroy my market, set down a smaller market so that I can at least get 30 gold, one per house. The tier 2 market gives you two. I have been insanely unlucky, because I have not found one freaking dude in three years who's selling bricks. So I have not been able to repair it. Now, I probably put down too many towers. Um, I got a little I got a little ahead of myself. I did expand the farm to a 12 by 24. I did also create this area, which I'm going to use to showcase logistics. So while we wait for our, either our inevitable demise or salvation, well, let's go over the new logistic mechanics of 9.1. So with storehouses, you can click on any resource and set a min and max quota. Now, these are specific to that one individual storehouse, which means you can finally, see, you can finally specialize your industries and in your storage buildings. So over here, what we have is a soap shop, the technical term, soap shop, kind of feels lazy, <laughs> but soap shop it is, and then a tannery. So what I have here stored is a minimum of five. So I'm using minimums. I think that's the best way. I'm not going to put a maximum here unless it starts to get really full, in which case I just want specifics, right? So I have tallow, I have leather, and I have a minimum of 500 of each and herbs, okay? So that way the tannery here can make pelts and over here the soap shop is pulling tallow and it does look like it needs firewood. However, firewood is typically stored at your stockyard. So that's one thing that would be beneficial to store over here that I do not have. And I think we're okay not having it because it only takes one firewood. So that's, that's not a whole lot for them to, to lug. So the efficiency is still there. Okay. So boot this up to times three. So that's how that works. And then of course I have it so that they can store however many coats they want here because that's what they're making. And then also so that they can store the soap which is located right here. So yeah, I check, checked it saying that it's good to go. Sometimes it's good to set minimums to kind of just like get some kind of priority. I, I don't exactly know. Um, it, I don't need five soap stored here, but if soap is gonna be stored anywhere, it should be there. I also walled it in and put a tower, which I cannot afford and is uh, probably leading to a significant part of my money is woes. Uh, we, other than that, yeah, we're doing great. I built some bakeries, disabled them. I did get the temple up finally. I had to disable that too. I had to disable my healer's hut. I just, I got too much going on. We're going to disable the barracks. We're broke. Um, mainly, like I said, I need to basically get materials to repair my market square. Or I need to delete it and set down a tier one. And I know as soon as I do that, as soon as I cave, that the damn guy is going to come. And it's going to end up costing me. Because right now it's only going to cost me, like, probably 11 bricks versus 25. I guess I'm being kind of stupid. Because that's really anal. <laughs> I should have just deleted it and put the tier 1 down. To be honest. It's it's like the... Pra I don't know. I'm a stu... Mm. I try to be pragmatic, but sometimes I, my stubbornness gets the best of me. It's definitely an emotional decision I'm making here and not logical decision. Just like the uh, the gods. I'm fighting the gods of this game. It's kind of like that sunk cost theory. It's like I've lost so much waiting for it. It's just like the next guy is the next one's going to win. Next guy's going to have those bricks. And I just keep losing more and more. And realistically, the gold I would have gained. Deleting this and putting a tier one down would have made up for the fact that I had to buy more bricks. This is one of my biggest beef that you can't make bricks at tier two. You definitely should be able to. Like I have clay. I also got a coal mine because I'm going to be trading coal. I'm just really ramping up my economy right now. And uh, like I should be able to make bricks. It does. It's not rocket science. Just this fucking clay. <laughs> Like what? Like sand? I don't know. What they, I don't, actually don't even know how they make bricks. I don't make bricks for a living. Leave me alone. It's not like someone's going to approach me on the street and like point a gun at me and be like, How the fuck you make a brick? I'm like, I don't know. And then I'm dead. It's not, not a real world scenario that's ever going to happen. 
I'll just, I'll Google how to make bricks. I'm pretty sure that it's just clay and like, I think it's some kind of like um, gravelly grain or something. They use something. I'm probably going to get like 15 comments about how, how to make bricks now. Forget, forget all the features that I just showed you. Let's, let's, let's only talk about bricks in the comment section. Let's not talk about anything that's on topic. All right. We're going to make some money here. Does he have bricks? He does not have bricks, but he does have baskets. And that is a find. We'll buy the baskets. He has shirts. I'm going to buy shirts because my people are naked. They are not afraid, but they are naked. Not afraid, but disturbing. Yeah, they're just... It's disturbing to see a hundred people living in huts. Unclothed. All right. Someone died from disease. I do love the new mechanics and the new logistics. I do feel like people are a little bit smarter about moving things around. I'm enjoying... Uh, I'm really... So this is like a big thing. This is the probably the biggest thing you can take away from these videos. Is that now being able to set quotas on storehouses is huge. Because that, that allows for a level of gameplay that has not existed. Where you can min-max everything. All right, so we got a guy over there, but I do want to continue on subject. So if you're wondering how productive your buildings are, these mechanics have been in here for a while. But you can see there are four statuses. How much, and then these determine how much time your workers are spending on all the tasks. So basic needs, that's like their needs, all right? So these people are awesome. They're only spending 2% of their free time, of their time altogether on like their basic needs, okay? They're working 82% of the time. That's a very good rate. They're transferring goods 12% of the time. so And then they're idle 3% of the time. So this is where you can really kind of dial in on if your setup's good. If you notice you have a transfer good time of 50%, like that's like, oh shit, like I could I could make this more efficient. So over here, the soap shop has an idle 100%. And that's because there's not enough tallow, okay? Um, I'm, I'm burning through all the tallow pretty quick. Most likely, that's what's going on. Or there's not enough herbs. Actually, that's probably what happened is I, I sold all my herbs. Um, yeah, that's exactly what happened. So so there you go. That's why it's 100% idle. That was a totally intentional. And I need to buy this. And I still have no bricks. I'm poor. And I can't afford... Can I afford it? No! Okay. Okay, we're going to have to do things that we never thought we'd have to do. Shit. We can't do anything. I really want to buy this. 30% more would be great. But to be honest, we don't need it. Um, shit. Alright, we're destroying the market. We can't... We need that 30 gold. We need our defenses on. Because if we get attacked... I'll just have to buy bricks. I'll just have to buy all the resources to repair it. Should have done that three years ago. Uh, all that money lost. Because of my pride and my inability to Google how to make bricks and try to like teach these people. There we go. All right, get that thing up. Let's get some money coming in. All right. So yeah, we're doing great. We have a lot of good trade items. Um, I kind of actually feel like herbs are another resource that I could probably invest more people into. So we're going to get another forager shack going. Oh shit, they burn my for they're always burning my forager shacks, man. They're kind of dicks. There's like no reason. There's no reason but like pure pure rage. All right. Now let's put them here cuz we can get like 30 herbs right there. And we can get some blueberries, too. This is a nice spot for herbs, but it's got a wolf den I'll have to destroy. Hawthorns. We got a lot of upgraded hunters now getting pelts. Like, each one of these guys is pulling in about 11 pelts. So I'm actually at a point where I'm able to make enough uh, coats and stuff that I'm pulling in a good amount of money in trade from coats. And shoes. I'm making everything. But yeah. Making candles now. We're still not happy. And I don't know why. 
Entertainment's low, luxury's low. I'm not really sure what I can do for entertainment. I, I gave him a pole. And apparently, it's very fun. You can see here that this is the best place in the town. This is where people want to be. I don't know why. But it's the pole. I've seen these at Renaissance fairs. Like they have these like uh, tassels at the top right here. And then at the bottom, you hold the end of the tassel and you run around in a circle. And usually there's music playing. It would be definitely very awkward if there wasn't music playing and it was just like dead silence and like just you and some other person running around a pole with a tassel. But, uh, you know, I don't see any music playing. All I'm saying. These people are creepy. All right. Fucking weird. It's... <laughs> they need to add some people playing music. All right. Or at least like tether ball it. Like put a ball, like, uh, yeah, like if you're a tether ball. But... Yeah. I don't know. Do something. Like take a, take a rope. Right? Tie it around like your ceiling fan and just like turn off all sound and then just like run around in a circle and you tell me whether or not that is an abnormal behavior or if that's fun. You find that you find that fun. Alright? This is this is more fun to me than, than this shit right here. I'd have a lot more fun <laughs> that's probably why buildings are catching on fire spontaneously in fact. Because this is not fun. And people are, uh... People are accepting the harshness of their their reality. With, uh... With great... Great tact. By setting fire to all of their earthly possessions. Alright. So yeah, we got... We got everything going pretty well. I'm, I'm pretty happy with, uh... Setup, but that's... You know, that's how logistics work. <laughs> I, I segued pretty hard from logistics. <laughs> I, got, I got distracted by the tassels. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, it looks like our money problem is still pretty substantial. So let me transfer a little bit of gold into the town to kind of see what our negative is. We're negative enough. I think it's... Are we? Are we breaking even finally? If we're breaking even, that's great. That means I can pay for all my stuff. Okay. We do have some condemned buildings. And we do have... Okay. Yeah, it's a little it's a little slow today. We're gonna get a barn up here soon. Um, I was gonna put the barn right about here now i can actually finally move this because i was waiting until the traps had gone so it does look like traps are depleting but they're still at a really slow rate and the cost is very advantageous still so let's actually put this hunter guy over here next to this lake and then i'm gonna have to move the compost yard oh yeah we're at negative two that's like nice <laughs> that's that's uh, an affordable decline. So, where did that 117 go? Okay, yeah, let's put like 305 into the town. Pay for all our bills. And then we're going to put a barn right here. And it's going to be a beautiful barn. Very, very pretty barn. The people don't like the barn. The barn smells. And uh, apparently this is where these people draw the line. Like, they, they'll they live with feces in their house, but if they can just see a cow, that's when they start feeling dirty. Alright, well, we're just going to wait for this stuff to move, and uh, let's at least get terraforming done. And we're going to need an area. I think this is a great place to put the barn. Now, you're probably wondering why I don't use fences. And it's because I like the deer to come towards the farms. And I lay hunters in a, waiting for them. And the hunters typically kill all the deer. 
This keeps the spawns closer to my town. If I fence it all off, then they don't gravitate towards that. It's a very common tactic of mine. It still works. I know some people have expressed frustration that if one deer gets into your area, they eat a lot, and that's true. However, I'm, I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm not afraid of any deer-like creatures. Um, I think what we're, this eventually is going to become an area that has buildings in it. So we want to maybe get that down so that the fences... I want to be able to put a gate over here and stuff. Okay. Barn. Alright, so what we have here is a dirty, dirty apiary. And we can place this realistically anywhere. It's not right there. Want the barn? Okay, I guess actually the apiary doesn't have to be moved. So let's just leave it alone. And the barn is going to need to be right here to not impact. Okay, cool. Once the barn is up, then we will get the die. The, uh, I think it's a 15 by 15, but let's see if they changed it. They're always changing stuff. Still doesn't have bricks. This guy's a dick. We got two granite boards. I, so yeah, wood is definitely a tremendously great, great thing. I have been selling wood quite some time. That's doing great. Okay. Oh yeah, we can buy more iron ingots. That's good. Shit. All right. Well, let's see if we learned our lesson. The bandits are getting tougher, and they're doing a lot more damage than they used to. I really need to get my act together and get to tier three. Put this to times two. Yeah, tier. I need to get stone walls pretty quickly here. Oh, well, a villager died, so that's good or bad. These guys really want coats here. Um, so far so good, though. They seem to be very much attracted to beating on walls, so I haven't had too much to fear yet. Yeah, they didn't really... They really chose odd targets with that raid. That's good. I've, I've finally confused, confused them enough that they're not really doing any big damage. Get this guy, please. There we go. Team effort. Come on. There we go. What are we talking about? Crops left to rot. Ooh, 486. And that's because people were outside kicking kicking ass for the Lord instead of uh, farming. That's what one of the problems with farming. And that's why, like, droughts and all that are going to hurt. Um, you're going to... Yeah. Especially on Vanquisher when you have raids every other year. Oh, boy. What do we got going on here? Nothing. Okay. Well, I'm going to sell some clay. I've just been pretty much selling anything I can. Got some shoes. We're doing well. Mmm. Killed two people. We killed 23 out of 30. So far, I mean, we're holding up. Could definitely be doing a little bit better. Ooh, negative 40. What did I turn on or off? How am I at negative 40? Guard training services temple. The temple's off. What the shit? Oh, that sucks. It's been charging me for the temple and the healer's house, even though I turned them both off. So I've been paying for them the whole time with them off. Yeah, that's... Shit, I gotta put that on the forum. That's a huge bug. Well, might as well turn them on. And put a grand into the town. <laughs> it says I'm out of money. It's like, okay, now it's not charge. I turned those off so long ago. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I have so much food, though. 
yeah, it's like saying I, I don't have money, but I do have money. It's not working. That's, that's all I know. Alright, what do I need to get to tier 3? Two 2,000 bucks? Let's do it. And 150 people? Oh, someone just died? <laughs> I was like, I have 150. Okay. This is going about as well as I thought it would. Yeah, we gotta hit that tier 3. I gotta get bricks making. Gotta get making them bricks. But yeah, I'm having a good time. <laughs> having a good time here. Um, I think what we could probably do is put a opening here and then have some more stuff. This actually seems like a much more reasonable place for the stockyard. And then we can place the firewood splitter right there. And then we can place this guy right here. Cool, yeah, nobody got negative from that. Doing, doing well again. Nice. Okay. 77. Cool. And I know exactly where it stops. Um, I'm going to have to kind of screw it up a little bit, but that's okay. We're going to have to bring you in. And bring you there. Gonna have to destroy this and replace it. We got ourselves a beautiful, beautiful area. We just need to buy ourselves some cows. No gold storage? Shit. <laughs> Won't build everything with gold. Why? <laughs> Why? And I glitched and I glitched it out. Okay, cool. So I'm actually paying for things now. I get wait, that's not cool. That sucks. I don't want to pay for things. Okay. Alright. Beautiful. Majestic. We are now in good shape. Make it a little even. This is a great spot for cows. Now, one of the things they did change is that productivity scales with the amount of people you have working in barns now. You used to be able to get away with, like, half, but there is an ex there's an exact, like, contribution per worker now. So you have to have a lot of people, unfortunately. But this is going to give us a pretty good supply of food. Shit. Yeah. Oh, nice. I'm I'm right there. I'm right there from pissing this dude off. Exactly where I like to be. Right on the edge. Okay. Nice. Boom, tier three. Now we can make bricks. That's basically all I'm going to be focused on. Shit. Got so much. Yeah, I need to get bricks so that I can start upgrading my storages too. Alright, well, let's build another one. Eek! Spoilage. Spoilage bad. That hurt my soul. Alright, cool. So we have a, a pretty good thing going here now. Fertility should start getting up a little bit. 10%, 0%, that's good enough. I know the raiders are going to come and break this damn fence every freaking year. That's why I hate them. It's like one, f if The reason I hate them is because on Vanquisher, you get raided all the time. And the band is always coming to break this. So every other year, I have to fix it, and deer get in, and people run around anyway. So, just... It always seemed kind of like a nuisance. Alright, yeah, 
yeah, once that's up, lots of things are going to change. First off, I need a lot of stone. I should have been working on that. I should have been working on getting a lot of stone when I had people just sitting around doing nothing. That was a huge mistake. Um, I gotta be careful with the wolves right there. Nice. There's lots of stone. We're gonna need quite a bit. I can start upgrading roads. There we go. Perfect. Alright. Oh, it's so beautiful. Make a cheese maker now, too. Alright. Well, first things first. Bricks. Iron would be a good one, too. But we're not there yet. Alright, let's keep it simple for now. Bricks it is. And that's also tier 3 housing. But we need, um... Oh, we got candles. And three types of food. The milk will provide the third. We need to get cows in here ASAP and get some milk. What you got? What you got? Nothing. Okay. Well, he's got stone, but not at a good rate. Um, I'm going to buy iron instead. I'm going to make sure that my traps are full. Alright, cool. Crank this guy out. Make sure the clay is coming in. Good rate. Got quite a bit of workers, I think. 35? Yep. So, this road right here definitely needs to be upgraded. Same with this road. And the same with that road. Same with these roads. And we'll see what happens. Yeah, pretty much any industry road needs to be upgraded immediately. My favorite part of the game is getting my roads upgraded. And then we'll focus on individual towers and uh, getting their wells upgraded to stone. Make them tougher. Beautiful. Love that efficiency. Got so much wood. I need to sell more wood. Actually, might start making furniture. That's probably one of the better things I could do with the amount of surplus that I have. We're gonna put the smokers over here. Doesn't need to be a perfect like there's they they honestly have more wood than they cut down, so it's alright if I encroach. Ooh, look at that, twenty one bricks. I'm gonna get my market upgraded next. I get that positive gold flow back. Once these houses start upgrading, that's when things are gonna be good. Yeah, we need cows. Hmm. That's right, I keep forgetting I need I need to kinda like get a few things in order here. I need a foundry, I need a blacksmith shop, I need a lot of stuff. Keep forgetting. Alright, let's put that there. First thing I need is a blacksmith forge. I need a foundry. So I can make the heavy tools. And then I need to get iron. There's plenty of it around. Let's put the mine right here. There we go. Yikes. And we can put the furniture workshop right here. Looks like we can finally upgrade the market. Yikes, we're running out of money. It's a good time. 
good time to upgrade that market. I need a third food type. Got meat, I got berries, and I got greens. So I should actually have all of that. To... Some of these houses should be upgrading. None of them are over 65, though. Just a few are. Hmm. And this is one of the things they nerfed, which I already went over, was the flower urn. You can see now it gives like 3 and 4% instead of like 5 and big old percentages. But it's still pretty amazing. Um, let's be tactical here. Right here would get a lot to 65. So that's a good one. Down here would get one. Yeah. Yeah, not really useful. That's like probably the best. We don't need workers in there until we're using it. We don't have too much stone yet. Ah, shit. I didn't realize that was on. Yeah, once this is done, that's huge. Let's get that up to two people. Alright, now we're back in business. Put three people stocking here. That puts us at 60. That will get us down to like negative six, which is like something we can sustain. That's the importance of the upgraded market. Get two gold per house instead of one. It makes all a big difference. There we go. Boom. Okay, now we just need to get the foods in these guys. Now it's just mainly a we're not going to build any more houses we're just going to try to upgrade all the houses we have and make the best economy we can build a medium statue right there that would probably be the best bang for your buck right there that will give everyone like plus seven oof doesn't hit over these large statue however yeah with large statues you can put them outside though that's the thing this isn't really an optimal design. Um, we'll be lucky to get to tier 4 at this. This is kind of like a fort. <laughs> Alright, let's hope we can buy some cow. I'd really like to get some cows going. Nope, we didn't get anything good. That sucks. At least we're making bricks now though, man. Oof, that's such a relief. The thing is, is we need quite a bit of money to make upgrades. Um, mainly it's gold holding us back right now. But yeah, there's my pelts in action. Pelts are such a good income. Seven gold per hole. Okay, we're rich now. And we're gonna... These are expensive, but we're gonna buy two. That's it. So, well, I guess there's really no reason not to buy more. This guy doesn't have jack. Guess we can buy a couple. Still got a little bit of coal. Yeah, we're definitely gonna just keep selling coal. Um buy some ingots. There we go. Nice. Cool, now I can just build well, I guess I need money. I'm gonna throw it all into my town. We're just we're gonna build everything. Upgrade that. I love having money. Yeah. Now we can get. Now I can start making furniture and start selling that. Beautiful. All right. Yeah. A couple guys doing furniture is good. All right. I want him not making any weapons or anything, and I'm gonna put a minimum of eight and twelve heavy tools. Now I can make my own heavy tools. And once 
they hit that quota, they'll just stop working. And that's perfect. Yeah, we're got a good setup here. Good trade trade city. Alright, pump that up to four. And have them pumping out. It doesn't matter what I select because I only have iron. Now they'll start making iron. Get the iron mine over here. Crack that up to six people gathering. We're going to start pumping out iron ore. And with iron ore, we can start making further upgrades. This is great. This is very good. So this over here, this well, is doing great, but need to get that up because that's a pr production well. And the well over here is already upgraded. Perfect. The well right here, though, has 197. There's not a whole lot of demand on these wells. 200. Okay, so people aren't coming there. Cool. Houses are upgrading. Big leagues now. Big leagues. 152. All right. Well, that's going to be the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, yep. Yeah, hit tier three. A little bit more. 9.1 is coming out real soon, so stay tuned. It should be out like within probably one or two weeks. Have a good one.